Hey guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here, and I am back with another awesome player review for you guys. I'm really excited to bring you this video because we have found someone who is finally willing to lend me Pele and let me do a review on him. We have finally finished, guys, the legend reviews for FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. For several months now, there has been a hole in the channel that I've wanted to fill for so long and that was a review of the legend Pele but it, it's been so freaking difficult to pick this card up he is so rare and it is so difficult to find someone that is willing to lend him to me because he costs so much coins he goes for the maximum amount of coins that a player can go for guys 15 million which is absolutely freaking insane for a single player let me know in the comment section down below guys do you think players should be worth 15 million coins for a single player not for the whole team just for the single player i will be definitely interested in hearing your thoughts on that subject but i was very lucky i did find somebody on twitter uh, that was willing to lend me his pele and if you're watching this video mate i just want to say a massive massive thank you i would not be able to use this legendary beast in this game uh, and do a review on him if it wasn't for you so thank you very much now the legend pele how does he play in game but before i go through his strength and his weaknesses as i always do i do like to go through uh the in-game stats which i will do right now when it comes to stats in general pele looks to be one of the best cards in ultimate team I, I mean it's only it's only common sense you know he's one of the best players that has played the game ever so it's only common sense that he should be one of the best players in ultimate team he does have 96 ball control 95 dribbling and finishing 93 kicks 91 on the long shots his physical attributes guys are out of this world 97 acceleration and sprint speed 96 agility and balance 99 reaction and then dropping down to 72 on the strength and then when it comes to his mental attributes he has 96 attack positioning and 96 vision so stats with this guy are out of this world now how does he play on the pitch well let's go through his minuses first guys because there are he a hell of a lot less weaknesses than there are positives basically the only obvious ones you know his strength isn't going to be the best he's only five foot nine and he he's not got the best of strength and aggression stats so you can only expect him to be fairly weak in the game you know he's not going to be able to hold the ball off of center backs like uh, company uh, Killini, Thiago Silva the overpowered center backs in ultimate team you know he's not going to be able to keep the ball from them his aerial ability is pretty poor like I just mentioned he is only five foot nine guys so he's going to be beaten in the air by pretty much every center back that he comes up against because mostly everybody that plays this game uses the center backs that are known to be epic like i always use as examples Chiellini, tiago silva company david louis the list just goes on and on with the the the, the more overpowered center backs in this game um an aerial ability with pele really didn't impress me at all now something that i did find as a big surprise and i was very disappointed by is that pele's long shots were really not the best for me i mean he did manage to score one or two half decent goals from a distance for me but comparing that to the amount of shots that i did take per game i was taking maybe nearly 20 long shots attempting 20 long shots every single game so for me to play about 15 games and shoot from a distance 20 times each game and for him only scoring about two or three that's pretty poor and he just didn't do the job well enough for me when it comes to long range shooting guys when it comes to positives i've got pretty much everything else as a positive with this card his pace is really really good 95 pace on the card you give this boy space and he is gone his positioning is awesome he's got the high attacking work rate and low defensive work rate for a striker so that's the perfect work rate it's exactly what you want to see and he's also got the 96 attack positioning which correct me if i am wrong guys but i do believe that is the highest attack positioning stat in the whole of ultimate team and i had no problems with his positioning um he was always there making the run that i needed him to make and he was always in the position that i needed him to be in basically his finishing inside the box was awesome 95 finishing that he does have i do believe but it felt like 99 he did not fail whatsoever for me when it came to finishing uh inside the box his dribbling and ball control is absolutely phenomenal definitely one of the best dribblers in ultimate team that i have used 
used. He's got 93 dribbling on the card, but in my opinion, Pele's dribbling in this game feels like what 99 should be. I cannot imagine anybody's dribbling and ball control being any better than this card. It was that good for me, guys. His passing was pretty good. I got to agree with the 87 passing stat. It felt like what 87 passing should feel like. He's got the five star skill, so skillers will just love using him. Like I've mentioned, the work rates for a striker are perfect. High attack and low defending. And his weak foot is very, very reliable. Now, he's got the four star weak foot, but he, he honestly, guys, no word of a lie. It, it turned out to be feel like more like a five star uh, for me, guys. So is he worth it? I, I No, <laughs> that's all I got to say, guys. 15 million coins is a stupid amount of coins to spend on a single player. I mean, I understand that he is like the rarest player ever in FIFA Ultimate Team. And he is Pele. But 15 million coins, I just can't get myself to accept the fact that a player should be worth that much. Just, it's my opinions, guys. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Do you think players should be worth 15 million coins? I would be very interested on hearing your guys' thought on that. But me personally, I just don't think a single player should be worth 15 million. It's just silly money, guys. And that's going to wrap up this Legend Pele review. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like is always greatly appreciated, guys. It really, really does help. And also subscribe for more player reviews to come in the future. And as always from me, guys, please take care. And I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.